Hello friends, welcome again and uh, in this video again we are going to see how to configure the Jenkins op center. Uh, so we, if you visit our uh, configuration, the architecture, we have installed the Jenkins operation center, we have installed Jenkins enterprise. Now we have to configure all these uh, well, I'm going to install only one Jenkins enterprise right now, and I'll uh, I'll I'll show the later how the HA works in uh, Jenkins enterprise, uh, the high availability stops after creating another uh, uh, Jenkins enterprise server, and uh, here we are going to uh, create uh, uh, the shared slaves, and I'm going to create the Jenkins analytics, okay, and also I'm going to attach my Jenkins enterprise to the um, Jen Jenkins operation center that they will become I'll make the, uh, them communicate and uh, we'll uh, configure the update center and uh, we'll try to create some uh, slaves which is not shared these are the shared slaves shared slave means uh, anybody can actually uh, take these slaves any project uh, they can request the Jenkins operation center for some slaves to be used uh, for there so it is on demand kind of uh, thing so that uh, uh, it will create a pool of uh, shared uh, slaves and any team particular uh, they can just ask for uh, those slaves if they need and they can use and so our operation center will just assign those slaves to different uh, enterprise servers and Jenkins enterprises based on the request but we also can uh, have dedicated slaves for uh, different uh, Jenkins enterprise servers. So they will be uh, dedicated but will not be shared. So these are not shared slaves, whereas these are our shared slaves and these are all in a pool of slaves. So we'll see and we'll try to configure uh, all the things here. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, log into our uh, Jenkins operation center so that we have installed already and that is our 192.168.50.50 .50 and 8888 that's the port so here uh, you see that i have uh, previously configured everything but i have removed now everything now it is uh, mostly uh, like a fresh installation now well i uh, in a um, uh, global uh, in the production obviously I want to uh, set the security uh, well that let's uh, talk that later which uh, obviously uh, uh, we can do but uh, I, I'll do that later and in fact we, we can do it here like enable security and we, we can do a lot of things here but I'll not do that right now so what I'll do is first first let's uh, communicate try to uh, attach the uh, enterprise master to uh, Jenkins uh, operation center so let's go ahead and configure that right now uh, here uh, in the operation center go to the manage Jenkins and you can see here uh, there is a uh, okay um, new white um, you go to a new item and you see there um, here you see a client master so here you give the name uh, what will be the master like uh, this will be the the enterprise this is actually a client master these are all uh, so we can add client master to our existing operation center so here I call it my client master okay like my client master okay so here this is nothing but connecting existing existing master as a client to this operation center server I have now this one existing it is running right so this is running Jen Jenkins enterprise and I am adding that to my operation center this is what I am doing okay go and click ok this is the description you can just uh, my uh, master server and enabled and okay enable and license okay um, 
plot is you floating say add configuration and now that's all just save it mm. you will see here that my client master and uh, it is asking them what is the url so here you can give 192.41 if you see this is my ip okay so the ip of my missing here So it's 41. Okay, this one is 41 here. So I'll give the same IP here. Uh, client master URL is HTTP and port number you give this one. So confirm and uh, now it has got connection begin connection detail and created. Just do the push configuration click and. Here it is, agent address is uh, 50 and agent port and it is agent status is online. Now join the operation center, click here. So it will take some time, now it is joined. So you see that if I click Jenkins and here it is showing that my client master. So here what we did is we added one of the master to Jenkins operation center. So actually i can now directly go just click here it will directly go to the console of that uh, client master right here i can uh, create new jobs and so on and so forth so uh, this is about uh, setting of uh, the client master uh, so that's all here in this video uh, let's see uh, the next configuration in my next video thank you